check out this crazy thing. You know, it's got Bahrain number plates on it. This actual prototype has been over to the Middle East and it's back here in time for this event here at, um, at Salon Preve. This is a very unique vehicle. It's a road going version of a Dakar rally car. Let's find out a little bit more about this. And I think maybe we can find somebody rather important to talk to about it. I have found the legend who is Dave Richards of ProDrive here and he's kindly going to talk to us about this amazing vehicle behind us. What is this? What is the idea behind this? What is the plans for this? The whole concept started with the Dakar Rally and uh, we've been competing on Dakar Rally as a joint venture with the Bahrainis, the Bahrain Sovereign Wealth Fund. And um, when we built the car, lots of people said to us, well, can't we buy one to drive ourselves on the road? Well, why not? So this is very close to the actual Dakar car that Sebastian Loeb finished second in this year's Dakar with. And um, it's a 600, but we operated the engine on this one. The governing body rules restrict certain things. So we've made it uh, more powerful. It's 600 horsepower now. It's got longer travel suspension. It's uh, still got a thousand kilometer range in the fuel tank. And it's um, a thousand kilometers. A thousand kilometers. So if you wanted to go anywhere off-road in the most remote parts of the world, this would be the car you'd take. You took it out to the Middle East, it's got Bahrain plates on it as well. Has it got AC? Oh, it's got AC. <laughs> We're putting extra AC in this one as well. So, and it's uh, it's got all the features you'd expect of a comfortable road car. So you can drive it through central London, but you can also drive it right through the desert. So it's incredible that you've taken a race car and you've made it road legal. You can drive it around in the city. Does it feel like a race car? I mean, what compromises have you had to make to turn it into a road car? Oh, it's just calibration, really. Engine calibration. We've put, instead of um, the rules allow, only allow a, a shift gearbox, we've put paddle shift in, automatic. So that um, makes it a lot more um, uh, easier to drive anyway. And what's the timeline for this vehicle? What are you planning? When is it going to go into production? Well, stuff? the first cars, this is a, uh, the prototype development car. And and the first cars will be available October this year, so October, September. And what are you targeting? Is it just the Middle East or is it a global market? Well, it's, a, it's really places where you want a vehicle that will go where no other vehicle will go. And I do mean that quite sincerely. This is a car that will take sand dunes that are sort of 100 meters high and it'll, it'll go across anything you want to take it across. And uh, so for the richest parts of the world, Middle East clearly, desert terrains there, anywhere in Africa. If you wanted to head from here to Cape Town, this is the car you're going. So it's an overlanding car as well, you reckon? It's something that you can do long trips across oh, continents? No problem at all. It'll sort of cruise along at sort of you know, 150 kilometers an hour, day in, day out. What's the sort of price that we're looking at for this? This will be 1.25 million sterling. So it's, uh, it's not cheap, but that's, uh, you get a lot for your money. And what level of customization and personalization? As a lot. You can uh, all sorts of things we can add to it. Um, yeah, people have their own personal specifications. If you're going, if you want to go falconing in Iran, that's uh, we make a special version to do that with. That's awesome. That sounds absolutely amazing. And in terms of the network, I mean, how is the car going to be distributed? Is it going to be dealerships or what? No, it's direct from us at ProDrive in, in UK and we can, it's like our race cars. We supply them all over the world. We've got a network of engineers who can fly out and support them whenever required. And uh, so we're very used to that. And is limited production or is ongoing production? It's ongoing production, but we are limited to about, uh, about 10 a year. Mm -hmm. And is this the first of a series of cars that we're going to see from you now? Or is this something that you're now moving into, like road cars? Uh, we will be announcing another product in, uh, I think we'll announce it formally at Goodwood actually in uh, a couple of months time. And is that going to be something more like a conventional supercar maybe? Or are you sticking with this off-road dynamics? No, it's a, it's a different car altogether. <laughs> That's all I'm going to get today. <laughs> That's awesome. This is a fantastic vehicle. I can't wait to see more of it. I can't wait to have a go in it, hopefully, because it sounds absolutely fantastic. Later Thank this you. year. Oh, I'll keep you to that. That's a promise. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time. To Not at all. Delighted. A big shout out and thanks to Jay Williams over at Air Technic, who are top tier sponsors of Brown Car Guy. Check them out at Air Technic Co. UK for exhausts, brakes, suspension, and body kits. Plus our other major sponsor, Nagen Solutions. Much appreciation also to tier 4 sponsors, Muhammad Ali Humaid, Tom Conway Gordon and Reza Adil. And of course all these other guys who supporting on Patreon. Brown Car Guy is eternally grateful. Hey, think about joining them over at Patreon.com Brown Car Guy. If you can't, don't worry. Just make sure you're subscribing to the YouTube channel and website. Plus follow on social media by searching for Brown Car Guy. <laughs>